Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I'm doing a swap video. And in honor of my swap today that I did with my friend Gemma, she lives in the UK, I have decided to do the entire video in a British accent. So fingers crossed I make it through the whole thing without laughing. So I'm not even going to talk about it, I'm just going to get right into the swap. Because if I think too much about it, I'm going to chicken out and it won't happen. So I'm just going to get right into what I received for my swap. Now, uh, when I did the swap with Little Miss Forty, I really, really liked the sleek palettes and also the Berry M pigments that she sent. So, of course, I asked for more of those. I also asked for a BB cream from Garnier, which is not yet uh, available in the States. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's not available here. So, I asked for that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into the products that she sent. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the BB cream. Uh, this is the box. It's a Miracle Skin Perfector. It says that it uh, evens tones and evens tone and boosts glow, blurs imperfections, smooths lines, 24-hour hydration with an SPF of 15. So I like this. I've used it every day since I got my package, and I have to say that it is a very nice product. It has a wonderful smell to it. It blends out easy, um, but it is more like a tinted moisturizer as opposed to a foundation. So if you like more coverage, uh, what I would suggest is using the BB cream and then you can use something like a, another uh, liquid foundation or a um, mineral foundation, a powder. So this is really, really nice. I, I like it a lot and like I said, the smell, it smells very good. It has a nice, fresh, clean scent to it. It's nothing overpowering. So I really like this and I have been wearing this alone and have found that it gives me just enough coverage and it actually does what it says on the box, what I just read to you. So I really like this. I actually found this on a, um, a website uh, for a drugstore in the UK, I believe it was um, Superdrug and this was right around £10. Um, I asked for, like I said, some more sleek products and I got this palette. This is the uh, primer palette, and I've been wanting this for a while now. And all it is, is a palette with just uh, cream color bases. So I've used the silver one and the white one. Here's the silver. I'll show you the purple. These work wonderful for underneath your eyeshadow. It really makes the colors pop. So, and especially, you know, with Halloween coming, this would be perfect for making, you know, like blues and purples just really stand out even more. So, um, I was really excited to get this and hopefully soon I'll get a chance to use all the colors. But like I said, for now, I've just used the gray and the white and I really like it. It's a very nice palette to have. If you have something like this, you really don't need to go out and buy um, any cream color bases because pretty much every color you want is in here. The only thing that I was a little sad about is that there is no, um, uh, what color? Oh, there it is. What the heck am I talking about? It's green. I want a green. And there it is. Didn't even notice it. I'm just so, I'm actually really nervous about doing this video and trying to pull off this accent. I hope you guys are getting a laugh because I'm laughing inside right now and my dog is out there barking, getting on my nerves. I got this other palette. I got the Oso oh Special palette uh, from Sleek. There's the back. The colors are absolutely beautiful. Here they are. And again, just super pigmented. They blend out nicely. I mean, this palette is, it is special. <laughs> I'll swatch some of the colors here for you. Just beautiful. And I have used this palette every day since I got it. And it comes with this little piece of plastic. And it's got all the names of each color on the plastic. Um, but I swatched this one here. That one there is um, this color. Which is beautiful. Um, I swatched this color. Which is right here. Not too close. And then I also swatched this pink one here. This one is kind of like a um, like a pink gold. And that one is really pretty. Is it not focusing? It's going to get on my nerves now. See, it knows I want to get through this quickly because this is a lot different for me. And it's, my camera is just not going to cooperate. 
So anyway, I finally got that one. And it was funny because when I did my last swap video and I was showing that I got some a sleek palette. I actually got two from Little Miss Forty. A couple of you have wrote in and said that you had the oh so special palette. And so of course I had to get that one. And it really is beautiful. The colors are amazing. I also wanted this palette. This is from the Beauty UK collection. And I believe these are about £3.99. I watch a lot of English ladies here on YouTube. So I'm trying to get down, you know, get the lingo down proper. Uh, here's what the colors look like. And I have actually, this is actually um, number four. This is palette number four. And I've used this every day as well. I use this with the sleek palettes. I was doing a gray and silver. So I was using, or not gray, I was doing blue and silver. And then I did a gray and blue look as well. Using this and then the sleek palettes. So I used this color here and that one. And these are nicely pigmented as well. I'll swatch this color here. And you can see how nicely pigmented they are. Here's the gray right here and I, I just think the colors are lovely you know what it, it the one thing though is you know when you look at a website and you look at colors it never looks the same as when you actually have it in your hand because this is this color right here that was the main reason that I wanted this palette because it looked more of like a wine color on on the website but it's still beautiful I really really feel like that it's a mauvey brown which is quite lovely, I think. And then I'll do the silver. It's just beautiful. This palette was just, I mean, if I lived in the UK, I would have all of them because I think there are, I don't know, I think there's five or six of these beauty UK palettes and I, three pounds. I think here in the States, it would be about five something for this, but that's a really good deal. And it's a beautiful palette, great colors. She also has sent me some MUA, the Makeup Academy um, eyeshadows, and I honestly can't remember what I had asked for originally when we were kind of um, exchanging information. So when I saw all this, I was like, this is beautiful. I don't remember asking, so I think that she kind of threw some extras in. Uh, this color, I think I've seen um, Lauren use this color in some of her videos. It's beautiful. This is shade number eight, and it's a pearl. Pearl, pearl, pearl. It's a pearl. Let's watch this. So beautiful. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? They are so nicely pigmented. Look at that. So that one is number eight. This next one is number 24, and that's a pearl. And my dog just walked in. That's what this color looks like. Hi, Cookie. This one is 24. Swatch this one for you. I've worn this one already and I really like it. That's what that one looks like. This one is so pretty. It's a purple. It looks kind of violet on film, but it's really not. It's a very deep, like a plummy purple. This is shade 9. This one is a pearl as well. And I'll swatch this. That's the color there. Wow, I wonder why it's coming off on camera like that. Oh, it's kind of iridescent. It's really pretty. There's that one. Got my little wipe here because I'm making a mess on my fingers. This one is shade number one. This one's a pearl also. It's really pretty. I have a, a cream color base that will really make this color pop. That's what it looks like. And then I will swatch it. I just, I really like colors like this for doing neutral looks and all over the lid. It's just gorgeous. And then this one here is shade 17 and this one is a matte. And that one is quite nice as well. And these are well pigmented colors. Kind of blends into my skin tone. I don't even know that you'll be able to see it. It's right here. That's showing up. So those are very, very nice. I like those a lot. She sent me this lip gloss from MUA and it is shade number one. That's what it looks like. It's a beautiful color. Switch it on my other hand. 
That's what it looks like. They've got a nice smell to them as well. I've already worn this one. My favorite lip gloss is coming up here in a second though. She got me one. I don't even remember asking for this one. I think this was one that she sent as a little extra. It's a really pretty color. I've actually got it on right now. So she sent me two blushes. This one is from Makeup Academy and it is shade number five. And I actually used this in the video that I just did. Here's the color. It really is very pretty. I like it a lot. That's coming up. It's a bit of a, um, it's a corally color right there. She also sent me this one here. This one is shade number two. I like this one. It's a nice pink. It's a, um, and what I like about these is they're not totally matte. They're not shimmer. There's just the slightest amount of sparkle, but it's not obnoxious and it's not overpowering. So it's really nice. It's just what I really like. And I'll show this one on my hand. It's a nice pink color. I like pink. So those are the MUA. Oh, I forgot about these. She sent me some. These pencils are gorgeous and they really are very pigmented. The eye, um, eyeliners. This one is Lovely Lilac. There's the color. It's gorgeous. Here it is here. Look at how pretty. I really like that. I like colors like this along my lower lash line, you know, like if I do a brown or something on top, just to add something different or a pop of color, these work out really nice. This one is amazing, it's amazingly pigmented, it's quite beautiful. There's that, oops, there's that blue, and this one is called Turquoise. So pretty. And then this next one, I keep dropping everything. This next one is called Malt Chocolate. That's what it looks like. Um, this one's pretty as well. This one has a little bit of glitter running through it. There's that color. So they really are very nice, highly pigmented. And it seems like they would blend out nicely. See here. I really like those. So thank you for that. Um, she sent me some Barry M as well, and I like the pigments. This one is number 89. I'll show you what this looks like. It's kind of hard to describe the color of this one. I'm not sure. Let's see here. It's kind of like a... Um... Ooh, that's purple. It looks really... It kind of looks like a pute... Oh, you know, if you turn it in the light, it changes. So it's purple and then it goes a bit maybe into like a grayish purple or a dark color. It's lovely. So that one is number 89. I really like how little the packaging is. It, they don't take up a lot of room and you can stack them on top of each other. This one is number 14 and this one is a green. That is beautiful. watch this one oh, this is really pigmented that is like Christmas green look at how pretty these berry and pigments really are very very nice there I mean I think they're comparable to Mac the quality is just amazing and highly pigmented and I believe those are four pounds 95 for those I think Someone can correct me below if I'm wrong. Then she got me this. This is from Beauty UK. This is my favorite lip gloss at the moment. I mean, I've worn it every day. It's just an amazing color. I like the packaging on it. I like that the lid, listen. It's a, a twist lid that snaps in place. It's got the little sponge tip applicator. And I'll swatch the color. It's just, it's so pretty. I love this color. I'm going to put enough on here so you can see. It's got a bit of a minty smell to it. There's the color. Look at how pretty. Is that not gorgeous? Gorgeous. Is that not gorgeous? 
It's beautiful, lovely. I think I like the word lovely better. It's easier to say. <sighs> I'm almost done. <laughs> oh my God. Jim, I hope you're getting a laugh. I'm so embarrassed for doing this. All right, and then the last thing that she sent me, and it's funny because this was available here in um, Target. This, and I, I think, I don't think they sell it anymore. The Soap and Glory brand. She sent me this hand lotion. It's called Hand Food. And this has the most amazing smell. I love it. Uh, I can't describe the smell to you. I'm not good at describing smells. I will just say that it, it's a really nice smell. I like it a lot. I like smelling it on my hands. The smell lasts a long time. It's not like you put it on and then, you know, 15, 20 minutes later, the smell is gone. It stays with you. And also, I, I'm really not one for hand creams because I don't like feeling that greasy feeling. Like a lot of hand creams that I get, they are greasy feeling on my hands, like the palms of my hands, and I don't like that. Um, I don't, uh, I don't particularly like when I go to grab something or whatever, and it kind of slips out of my hand. So this product, once it goes on, it's it's like silk. It's very smooth. It goes on. It it um, absorbs nicely. And the best part is my hands don't feel greasy, and the palms of my hands don't feel slick. So this is this is a great. Um, hand lotion. Um, I don't know, I might be asking for another one of these because <laughs> it really is a very nice um, lotion for the hands. I like that a lot. I've been keeping it in my car. Especially with winter coming, I wash my hands a lot because, you know, I work in the medical field and it's just what you do. And then the last thing, I forgot about this. This is a blusher from Berry M. I have really nice packaging. It's very cute. And um, I don't know what this, there's no name on the back, there's not even a number, I think it's 102, I'm not sure, but that is a really pretty pink, which I like a lot, and it's matte, which again, you know, I like matte colours, I don't really want to be showing off my wrinkles, here's the colour here, it's really nice, very pretty. The blushes are nice, they blend in nicely, they don't just kind of sit in spots, you know. Sometimes you get a um, blush and you go to put it on and it looks a little more, you know, darker in one area as compared to the other. Sometimes I find that certain blushes do that and it's quite annoying. Um, so, but this blends out nicely. I really, really like this. So, I'm done. You guys will have to let me know how I did with my UK accent. <laughs> my husband's been asking me for probably the last month. He said, did you do it yet? Did you do it yet? I said, no, I haven't got the package in the mail yet. I said, why would I make a video with that British, you know, with a British accent when I've not got the package in the mail? <laughs> so I'm done now. I really am done. I don't think I can do it anymore. So, all right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Jem, let me know if you peed your pants. For that matter, any of you guys watching, let me know if you peed your pants because you were laughing so hard. And I think that's it. I don't think I put anything away that, that she got me. If I did and I do another video, because I have another video coming, I will show it to you guys. But I'm pretty sure that that was everything. So, all right, you guys. Take care. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.